Sports Network with Stuart Pompell, director of the Pacific Crest Drum and Bugle Corps, also host of today's event. We're three quarters of the way through. What's your impressions of the event so far? It's exciting. Uh, I, if we're not sold out, we're, we're, we're darn close. <laughs> no, I, I can see the, the stands are definitely full. Yeah, the stands uh, are filled with lots of uh, great fans, and it's also exciting because we have 30 school groups here, 1,600 band kids from local high schools that are here too. Yeah, so. we got to talk to some kids from La Mirada. It's been great. I great. see uh, Savannah and other Orange County high schools yep. being represented. Uh, talk about what it takes to put an event like this on, all the volunteer work that goes into it. Right. Uh, well, it, it takes an army, you know, not only, not only do we have the, uh, the campus or the college workers, uh, and there's, uh, you know, several dozen of them, uh, but we also have about 50 volunteers working the event, so, yeah. How about your working relationship with Southern California Gas Company, the Diamond Bar Community Foundation, mm -hmm. and their commitment to Drum Corps? Yeah, well, the, the gas company has a, a long history of commitment to the community, and uh, our programs and what we do for kids and music fit with their guidelines, and so they're they're eager to support and, and show the community that they're putting uh, you know money back into the community uh, for those all, all the customers of theirs. Uh, Diamond Bar Community Foundation has been doing great things in the city of Diamond Bar for years, and um, you know one of the things they do is support the arts in their community. We are the uh, single largest nonprofit arts organization in the city, and so they see uh, a lot of support. You know we see a lot of support from them. And I'm interested to know, I mean, we're seeing Pacific Crest walk off the field. Your initial reaction to the performance? Oh, anytime I see them, it floors me. Mm -hmm. I mean, these, uh, these performers are amazing, you know, and our staff just do tremendous work with them. Our, we have designers who put a, gr a great prop program together, and we have instructors that are incredibly dedicated. And the, the performers themselves are, you know, they're amazing. They give up their whole summer to do something they really love. All they have to do every day from June through August is play their instrument, dance, and that's it. <laughs> well, I know, I know for sure the crowd loved it. It got nearly a standing ovation. Uh, how long has Pacific Crest been in existence? So we started in 1993, and we had 33 kids that year. Um, and this uh, 2012 is our 20th performance season. Our 20th anniversary is next year. So we're going to be starting to plan that. It's going to be a big one. Right, and uh, when, when are you guys planning to go on tour? Well, actually, we just came off 10 days. Uh, we did a 10-day tour through the state of California, and then we have two weeks of rehearsal, and then uh, we go on to a 30-day national tour starting July 14th. Yeah, a couple, couple of shows here in Southern California, and then we head off to uh, uh, Arizona. Yeah. Well, Stuart, thank you for your time. We've got thank a couple you. more world-class competitors coming yes. up, so yes. we're looking forward to that. Stuart Pumphill, director of the Pacific Press Eagle and Drunk Corps. We'll have more with the LA Sports Network coming up. Thank you.